we have a new color code in the system and then you should be able to apply it properly so you don't create any problem during your electrical wiring okay so in the old color code system we have red representing line one then we have yellow representing line two and then we have blue representing line three then in that system the neutral is black the neutral wire is black and then yellow and green is used for a okay but then i have a supply that i want to connect to this panel and i have a set of totally different colors here and so this is why it's important to also know the new wiring color code so that if you happen to meet a system in which the same colors are not used you can be able to match them correctly so in this case i have a panel that is designed with the old color code and then i have a supply that is also having the colors of the new color code and so i'm going to explain to you the functions of each of the colors so that you'll be able to properly match them with the old one okay so in the new color code brown is now representing l1 black is representing l2 gray is representing l3 then the blue here is for neutral and then yellow and green remains the same for a follow me as i demonstrate how to match them correctly all right so i will start from left to right and so i will start by connecting the neutral <coughs> So old color code neutral is black in three piece. New color code neutral is blue. So we match blue with black. Okay. Then followed by red. So we match brown with red. Okay. So we match yellow with black we match blue with gray okay the only one that remains the same in both the old and the new is the edge wire. It remains yellow and green. Yellow and green. So edge is always yellow and green. So we connect yellow and green to the edge terminal or the edge wire. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I want you to subscribe to my channel so you can expect more good videos like this one.